BrainWise presents Grade 2, Math, Quizby, Part 3 Hello, Mathletes! Welcome back to BrainWise, where learning is always an adventure! Today, we're going on a thrilling math quest. Get ready to climb mountains of multiplication, swim through seas of subtraction, and explore the jungles of addition. Will you be the ultimate math explorer? Let's go! Easy round. Number one. Which of these shapes has more than six sides? Again. Which of these shapes has more than six sides? The choices are A. Pentagon B. Hexagon C. Octagon D. Triangle The correct answer is C. Octagon Number 2. Which of these objects has a line of symmetry? Again, which of these objects has a line of symmetry? The choices are A. A sock B. A butterfly C. A banana D. A shoe The correct answer is B. A butterfly Number 3 I am a 2D shape with all sides equal, but I am not a square. What shape could I be? Again, I am a 2D shape with all sides equal, but I am not a square. What shape could I be? The choices are A. Rectangle B. Triangle C. Rhombus D. Pentagon The correct answer is C. Rhombus Number 4 If you cut a circle in half, what two shapes do you get? Again If you cut a circle in half, what two shapes do you get? The choices are A. To rectangles B. To triangles C. To semicircles D. To squares The correct answer is C. To semicircles Number 5. Which of these letters has more than one line of symmetry? Again, which of these letters has more than one line of symmetry? The choices are A. W B X C Y D Z The correct answer is B, X. Give yourselves a high five, explorers. You conquered the first leg of our math quest. But the adventure doesn't stop here. More challenges await. Can you handle the heat? Let's journey onward to the next level. Average round. Number one. If you combine a triangle and a square, what new shape can you make? Again. If you combine a triangle and a square, what new shape can you make? The choices are A. A pentagon B. A hexagon C. A house shape D. A rectangle The correct answer is C. A house shape, depending on how they are combined. Number 2. If you fold a rectangle in half twice, how many equal sections will you have? Again. If you fold a rectangle in half twice, how many equal sections will you have? The choices are A. 2 B. 4 C. 6 D. 8 The correct answer is B4. Number 3. 
What 3D shape can you make by stacking 8 small cubes together? Again. What 3D shape can you make by stacking 8 small cubes together? The choices are A. Cone B. Cube C. Pyramid D. Cylinder The correct answer is B cube. Number 4. Ethan is building a robot using different shapes. He uses two squares for the body, two circles for the eyes, one rectangle for the mouth, and four triangles for the arms and legs. How many sides are there in total on the shapes used for the robot's body and mouth? Again, Ethan is building a robot using different shapes. He uses two squares for the body, two circles for the eyes, one rectangle for the mouth, and four triangles for the arms and legs. How many sides are there in total on the shapes used for the robot's body and mouth? The choices are A. 6 sides B. 8 sides C. 10 sides D. 12 sides The correct answer is D. 12 sides. Number 5. Sophia wants to divide a circle into fourths. How can she do this? Again. Sophia wants to divide a circle into fourths. How can she do this? The choices are A. Cut it in half, then cut each half in half again. B. Cut it into three equal pieces. C. Fold it in half once. D. Draw a line across the middle. The correct answer is A. Cut it in half, then cut each half in half again. Wow! You guys are unstoppable! The challenges are getting tougher, but you're proving yourselves to be true math masters. Are you ready to face the unknown? Take a deep breath and let's conquer the final obstacle! Difficult round. Number 1. Liam is building a tower with blocks. He uses three cubes, two cylinders, and one cone. How many faces are there in total on his three cubes? Again, Liam is building a tower with blocks. He uses three cubes, two cylinders, and one cone. How many faces are there in total on his three cubes? The choices are A. 6 faces B. 12 faces C. 18 faces D. 24 faces The correct answer is C. 18 faces. Number 2. Imagine a clock face. If the mean eat hand starts at the 12 and makes a half turn, what number will it be pointing to? Again. Imagine a clock face. If the mean eat hand starts at the 12 and makes a half turn, what number will it be pointing to? The choices are A. 3 B. 6 C. 9 D. 12 The correct answer is B6. Number 3. A ladybug is on a leaf. It slides to the left edge of the leaf, then turns 180 degrees. It slides to the opposite edge of the leaf. Where is the ladybug in relation to its starting position? Again, a ladybug is on a leaf. It slides to the left edge of the leaf, then turns 180 degrees. It slides to the opposite edge of the leaf. Where is the ladybug in relation to its starting position? The choices are A. At the starting position B. To the left of the starting position C. To the right of the starting position D. Cannot be determined.
The correct answer is C, to the right of the starting position. Number four. If you fold a rectangle in three times, how many equal sections will you have? Again, if you fold a rectangle in three times, how many equal sections will you have? The choices are A, two, B, four, C, six, D, eight. The correct answer is D8. Number 5. Liam is standing to the right of Ethan. Sophia is facing Liam. Ava is standing behind Sophia. If Ava takes one slide to the left, who will she be standing behind? Again, Liam is standing to the right of Ethan. Sophia is facing Liam. Ava is standing behind Sophia. If Ava takes one slide to the left, who will she be standing behind? The choices are A. Liam B. Ethan C. Sophia. D. No one. The correct answer is B. Ethan. Congratulations, math champions! You've reached the summit of our math quest. You face every challenge with courage and brilliance. Give yourselves a big pat on the back. Don't forget to share your epic victory with your friends. Hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures and learning. Until next time. Keep those math skills sharp! Great job on the math quiz! Share your results in the comments below. Check out other videos from BrainWise.